crowds are one of those elements that help bring your scene to life. Whether you're doing shots, movies, or you're creating something that is just super cinematic, you definitely need crowds at one point or the other. And this is where the procedural crowd from the folks at the Fuse Studio comes in. The procedural crowd system from the folks at the Fuse Studio simply allows you to bring your 3D scenes to life by throwing in different variations of crowd and controlling them however you want. The procedural crowd allows you to have access to 20 different kinds of photo scanned and optimized human characters which you can use in various scenarios. You can simply create these crowds in different kinds of ways and you can control them depending on what you want. And for those who are thinking about playing with some very interesting features and getting the most out of it, then the procedural crowd might just be the right add-on for you. So how you get to work with this is very very easy. So Blender simply open right here, all we need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. This is called the procedural crowd generator, you have to install the add-on and then point the asset folder towards the asset section where this file assets exist. Now once you have that ready, click on the bugger menu, save your preference and close. And once you do that, if you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that you have the procedural crowds. Now within this procedural crowds, there are lots of things that you can do. At this point, if you like to generate audience, of course you can. So we're just simply going to click, make sure that we have audience selected and we can click on add crowd. Now this is going to do the very cool thing that you wanted to do, which is throw in a bunch of characters in your scene. And if you go over to the crowd settings, you can tweak these things to your hat content. At this point, if you press the playback button, the crowds are in their idle mode. If we stop this and bounce this all the way back and you would like to have them cheering, you can toggle this on and press the playback button to see them doing exactly that action. You can choose to play with the width of the character size and also the thickness. Depending on what you want to do, you can also play with the personal space, which actually makes the crowd a bit scanty. And in terms of probability, you can play with the probability scale from 0 to 1. And for seeding, you can use this to get some random generated positioning of these characters at various points. Of course, if you like to define floor and also point of interest, yes, you can. Other things that makes a lot of sense for you to take a look at when working with the procedural crowds are these. That for example, if you're thinking about working with circles, of course you can do the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on add crowd and this is going to add a circular kind of crowd. This would be great if you want to have like one particular character standing here and probably talking to a crowd of characters. And in this case, if you're trying to play with radius, you can do that. If you like to play with a thickness as well, this is also something that is possible. In terms of circumference and also how much of a circle you can get, you can play with the trim circle to get a much more rounder circle or you can just drop this down the way you think it's best. At any point in time you're thinking about seeding this, you also have the very same options and you can also play with the toggle on for cheering or toggle off for idle mode. The next preset which you find here is a follow curve but a better example of showing how this follow curve works is playing with the match preset. Now to get this going all you need to do is make sure that you have a perfect curve within your scene and then you can select the matching with the curve selected and you can add the crowd which automatically will populate the curve with a set of crowd objects. This is going to create rows and columns and you can tweak these things to your hat contents. And this in turn is very useful if you're trying to create a crowd of characters walking. So at this point, if you like to have these characters walking, if you press the playback button, you see them walking, you can toggle this between walk and run. So just in case you like to have a multitude of characters running towards a particular point, of course you can. One thing I like to see the creators do is to add some sort of point of interest. That would make a lot of sense because at this point, once these characters are running, they just run in endlessly. Of course, if you throw in the speed and choose to play with the offset, you can get some things going. This is very useful, but I would love to see in a future update the characters can run towards a point of interest as this might create some more dynamism for characters. Another thing which is also very interesting to see is positioning. So at this point you can have some random positioning of characters and you can also choose to play with the seeds and create some more randomization. Of course at any point in time when working with these characters you can choose to also set this to run and animate the curve to create that sense of running and for what it's worth the matching preset that comes with both walking and running is a very good feature that comes with this. Another interesting feature I think a lot of people like to play with is the stadium feature. Say for example you like to create some sort of audience members watching or looking towards a point, what you can do is simple. We can go ahead and create a simple grid right here and with this selected which is the stadium preset we can simply click on add crowd. Now once we add the crowd automatically the crowds get added and you can see there a cluster of crowds but we don't necessarily see the direction or the point of interest that they're looking at. Now to get things going what we need to do is to hold down shift right click on this point and if we tap shift and tap here on the keyboard we can go all the way down and throw in an empty. 
Now with the empty there, we can proceed to select the crowd and we can go over to the point of interest, click the eyedropper and select the empty. Now at this point, this would force the characters to look towards this direction. If I select that and then push this all the way to a point like this, you can now see that the characters are looking towards this point. So you can control how much they look and you can also position them however you want. So just in case you're wondering if you can do that, this is super possible. And at the same time, you also have access to playing with all of the parameters that ships with this. So we can have the default characters just being characters that are cheering and we can set this from custom to default characters which will create even more variation that would be very useful if you're trying to populate a stadium or a specific field where things are happening and you like these characters to be active. Now aside all of this, if you're thinking about taking full advantage of individual models that ships with this, of course you can. Now if you go into the individual human section, if you click on the thumbnail, you have access to the characters within a given category. At this point you're looking at the category for men and if we have that selected, we can click and then we can click add human and automatically we have a human character that we can simply go in and start animating. At the same time, if we go into the category, we also have other sections that deals with the women high poly, which we can select and drag in a particular model. And if you're thinking about bringing in a low poly version, of course, you also have options of going over to the low poly section and selecting a low poly variation of a particular model. We can choose to select a given set of animation. At this point, there are three different animations and various types of those animations. So cheering comes with three, idle comes with two, walking comes with three different ones, and you can select from any of them and click on preview to preview these animations or add them to the selected model. So this is it for those who are thinking about playing with crowds or maybe you're looking for a crowd add-on that actually offers all of these things that we've just mentioned. Links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. And of course a huge shout out to the folks at The Fuse Studio for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. So if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.